Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed a great honour for me to represent personally the Queen of Australia at this event today. She, of course, sends personal greetings for this event, but she has asked me to read out her message of condolence to the people of Australia, sent nearly two weeks ago, which goes as follows. I was shocked and saddened to learn of the terrible toll being exacted by the fires this weekend. I send my heartfelt condolences to the families of all those who have died and my deep sympathy to the many who have lost their homes in this disaster. On so dreadful an occasion as this for Australia, the firefighters and other emergency services have been making extraordinary efforts to contain the situation and tend to those who have been injured. Please also convey to them my renewed admiration for all that they are doing. Signed, Elizabeth R. And I would like to add my own condolences to those who have lost loved ones and homes in this awful tragedy. Her Majesty is very well represented here in Australia by Her Excellency the Governor-General and His Excellency the Governor Victoria. And they have shown through their response in the last fortnight how well that representation is. And it is why I am particularly honoured to represent Her Majesty personally. Although a little daunted, when faced with a scale of loss and the physical and mental impact that these bushfires have made and are still making here in Victoria. Individuals and towns have responded with resilience, ingenuity, courage and selflessness to situations that were changing at terrifying speed. People from around Australia and across the world watched in horror, but with admiration at their response. I would particularly thank all those involved in whatever capacity, in the emergency services and in the voluntary organisations. And I look forward to having the opportunity to visit the Emergency Control Centre this afternoon and to visiting some of the affected areas tomorrow and meeting those who have been involved and affected. But my visit comes with the personal best wishes of Her Majesty to those who are recovering from this tragedy and to encourage all of those involved and with her thanks for all that has been achieved.